put my attachment to the book Fountainhead and the movie Fountainhead starring Gary Cooper. I read the Fountainhead and Atlas Shrugged and the Virtue of Selfishness in high school. Um, I also read um, The Invisible Man. And I, what I was interested in, and I was in the seminary at the time, was this notion of individual. What was an individual? What was the integrity of an individual? And Anne Rain, of course, we know, was also of that view. And I'm not an objectivist or anything, but as I was a 16, 17-year-old searcher, and reading was my way of doing that. Um, over the years, my interest was in whether or not, despite people characterizing me back then as stereotyping, you were black and there were these stereotypes. As years went on, of course, there are new stereotypes. I'm supposed to be a certain political orientation, I'm supposed to have a certain set of views, etc. So it's a new set of stereotypes. And still it's relevant. What about the individual? And if you look in Invisible Man, the individual is the Invisible Man. So that was the initial attachment. The reason I forced my law clerks to watch it is not to get them caught up in that so much, but actually teach them an attitude that there are a lot of hydraulic pressures in Washington to have a certain set of views or to have policy preferences and then convert those to legal rulings. I don't like that virus in the work that we do. So I require them to watch it so there is an attitude adjustment that I have no problem being the only one. I have no problem. That doesn't just because you're alone doesn't mean you're wrong. It means you're alone. And so it's sort of that movie is just to show an attitude that if you think you're right, there is nothing wrong with being the only one. 